Picture this. It's half six in the morning. Machine gun fire. Automatic machine gun fire. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, what the hell? I'm up, because I'm going for work. I look in the distance. I hear machine gun fire in the distance. I look to the woods. This woods, I live not too far from here. I look to the woods, and what do I see? Three orbs of light. Flares. Trip flares, that you trip. Flare's gone off. Flare's gone off. Shoots up into the air, letting everyone know that you're here. Army were here, training, again. I'm up here, again. Part four, again. I found already, my car is literally just parked down there. I found already what looks to be an up for camp. Reason being, I'll show you. Tent peg. Stick, like we've seen before. But some of these boys, a few beer skis. Uh, wait, ashes. This looks like it's off a uh, smoke red. Smells weird. It smells weird. Oh, there's a fire. There was a fire. Oh, cling film. No. Tin foil. Hold up, we're gonna keep looking. Right. I have no idea what this is. What went on? Looks like some kind of ambush style thing where there's all these rocks too. These are all moved. These are all freshly moved. Uh, I'm gonna keep looking around here for a second and see if I can't find anything. I never thought they'd come down this far in the woods, but I may be wrong. So I've just walked up the road a little bit. We were just down there and I see something very interesting. So I see boots, or sorry, tire marks, right? I'm gonna flip it around. So tire marks, but there's boot prints in it. And these are like really, this is really off road. So what we got is these, but then we look like we've got boot marks here here going this way so we're going to go that way and see what's up there looks like they were dropped off real fast because these are like a lot of vehicles passing so they were dropped off here so by the looks of it these vehicles were traveling quite fast a little fast in the night anyway the main reason i'm talking to you right now is because every time i come up here i end up forgetting about this one thing until i'm at it and that is this. So my boots aren't waterproof anymore, look. They're not waterproof anymore. That means my feet are gonna get wet. That's worth a subscription. Oh, I'm zoomed in. That's worth a sub, I think, in my own personal opinion. So that means my feet are just going to get absolutely grounded. I'll try and feel it, feel it, feel it. Oh, no way. My feet feel dry. My feet are dry. Hey, look. Someone skirted. Someone skirted. There were some Jeeps going through here. There's a lot of um, road activity after happening around here. And I'm going to investigate what it was. Let's hope we can find something very cool. Just when I was kind of losing hope as to were these lads here or not, because they didn't leave that much of a trace behind them this time. Kia. They left the trace behind them, boys. What is that? Oh no, wait, that's old plastic. That's really old. Damn, maybe they weren't here. But does that look fresh? Does that look fresh to you, boys? Comment below, does that look fresh? Hey, there's also a hole in it. Was that shot? Boys? Help? Hello? We're gonna keep looking anyway. What is this? Is that a potato plant? In the woods. Very cool. Very Irish of you. Thank you, potato plant. I'm gonna keep looking. There's like two other big spots that I'm gonna look in and I feel like they were definitely there if they were here at all. This is where they were. Well, I know they were here first of all because I uh, heard machine gun fire and three flares up in the air. Unfortunately, I couldn't stay and watch because uh, I had to go to work and I was a little late. 
God damn it. Guessing that's where a smoke grenade was. Also, a telltale sign. That's the sugar they use in their packs. Check out this video to see all the gear that I found up the woods. Did you see the deer? I was whistling at it, but didn't hear me for a second. Oh, they were here. Yeah. So, I don't think that these prints are uh, three days old. Hold up. So that's like day, I don't know if you can really see that. That's a couple of days old. That's like maybe a couple of weeks old. So it looks like they weren't really here. There's just fresh deer prints around and nothing is really disturbed like a whole lot of people pass through. I did see something interesting in the road actually. Hold up, I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna go back and show you that because the more I think about it, no mate, maybe it's not. I'll show you, let me know what you think once you see it. Just wait till we get there. Let me get your theories in the comments below what this is for. Green, green rope, but it's not strong. It's not anything. It's just really weak green string. Theories below. Let me know. All right, we'll keep looking. Um, so I'm just on the way up to another spot that I know, and uh, I passed this thing, and I'm 100% going down here now because I looked here before, but it wasn't disturbed. Now it looks like a pack of wild buffalo ran through it. E.g. soldiers, look. That used to be nice and peaceful. Look, they came through here and there was a lot of them. Let's go and look at what the hell went on in here. Yeah, so there was something definitely went on in here. There's a lot of people came through. I don't know what the lighting's like, let me flip my screen around. Can you guess what we found? A camping area that's very large, needs to be looked through, but look. This is a emplacement of some sort with sticks at either side. There's a sticks going through here and mud. So it looks like you could really look out here from here. There's the road is just, the road is just right there. Oh, look, a telltale sign. They've been here. But there's like, these, it's all built up here, but everything is flattened around here, which would tell me from, from the ground here that's completely flattened for a huge radius and the amount of foot traffic that looks to come, to come through here, this was a big operation. That would explain all the gunfire. That means that the flare rounds, if they're still here and haven't been picked up, will be somewhere here, on the, out, on the outer perimeter of whatever this was. Ooh, this'll tell you how fresh it is. Noodles. Ooh. Batteries. More batteries. More batteries. I'm gonna bring these home and get rid of them properly. Don't throw batteries in the woods, please. People, whoever did this. Uh, I'm taking it that's from night vision. These ba little batteries are from NVGs. So I'm gonna look around for a bit and see. This whole area is disturbed. Let me give you a good look. It's all flattened. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my thing where I walk over and back and then back and forward like grid, gridding it and find Something cool, hopefully. That'd be nice. 
I see something way down there, but I don't want to jump the gun. I'm just going to look around here and work my way down to it. Not sure what right. the purpose of this is. Um, if you ever see me like reaching back like that, I'm just trying to flip the camera out so I can see what the lighting is like. But there's a uh, stone here that they brought in for some reason. Not sure what the purpose of that is. They've also made these little things. Well, sticks up over there, over here, over there. Jesus, there's a, there's a lot of sticks. Oh! Anyone know what this is? It's a smoke grenade pin, but it's an old one by the looks of it. Oh, the classic. Look what we found. Man, why is it? Look at this. Bungee cord. I have 600 million of these. If anyone needs one, hit me up on uh, Instagram. Also, follow me on Instagram. I can't stop looking. I'm gonna turn off the camera because I need to just look and I don't, I can't imagine you wanna watch content of me doing this. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back when I find something cool. Hot packs. Wow. Oh, they stink. It's like a heat pad. We got a ton of rope, a ton of rope. I'm not sure what kind of camp this was. Um, looks like they made stuff out of sticks though. Maybe like some kind of shelters or something. But by the absolute looks of it, I don't know how to explain it off camera or on camera, but there's, this is a huge area to cover. So I'm gonna be a bit and uh, it's gonna get dark at some stage. So I may have to come back tomorrow. If that is the case, I will do that. Oh, thing wouldn't record for a second. So my thoughts on this is, um, these were all, so I think this wood used to be like stacked over and they had their camp kind of in here as this rope is hanging. I think it went across to that tree and they just destroyed all the properties. But look what I found. Boxes of ammunition. Well, no, empty, just literally boxes, that's all. That's all I swear. No, but that's what I think happened is uh, these war structures of some sort and they destroyed them before they left, which makes sense. But I'm gonna keep, keep looking around. This is what I can imagine it looked like. Sorry for the absolute camera carnage. We're shooting. Oh wait, even better, you can see they put a branch across so like, obstruct view. So this is your view out, this branch would be across. Nighttime you would have no hope of seeing these people in here. Very little hope anyway. Unless you had infrared. Invest. If anyone's lost a pair of socks, um, drop me a DM and I'll get them back to you as soon as possible. You'll have to come and collect them yourself though, because I'm not touching them. <laughs> I mean, I gotta say it. Sucks for me because I lack content now, but I didn't find anything. I spent probably 45 minutes gridding that thing and I found nothing. Apart from like a couple of little tiny sweet wrappers and uh, toilet paper. But, sucks for me because I lack content now, but gotta say you win this round Irish Army, well done. You picked up everything or you did a very good job on concealing it. You even broke down your little things, all I found was some twine and a box that says 556 blank ammunition, which I have right here. I'm going up, there is one more place I know of up here, I'm going up, but that's definitely the camp that they stayed at, 100%. Um, so I just got a, I couldn't find any flares or anything, but they're hard because they're dug into the ground and like a tripwire will set them off. So they'll most likely take them with them. I can also hear dirt bikes and stuff back in the background there. And I was hoping they'd pass so I could get some cool shots of them, but that's not the case. I did find this area. 
really small. It's like just comes in up there, comes down. It's just an area right here. Seems to go back there, maybe. I'll go back and have a look. There is a freshly broken branch back there. Maybe this is just like a back way down to the camp I was just at. Maybe. Oh, it's not that fresh. But it is broken by something. Look at that view. Camera. Sick. We're nearly there. We're nearly there, I promise. Wait, just hold up. Also, I'm gonna do a skit back there for you being so patient. So if I don't find anything up here, you'll get a skit out of it. <laughs> so they've been here, but uh, I've been looking around for a bit. There looks like there wasn't very many of them. Um, it's not really disturbed from when, from the last time I was here, just a small bit over there. Uh, I have looked around a good bit. It's getting dark now, a little bit, so I'm gonna start heading back to the car because I've got like maybe an hour to go back to the car. That's how far I go for these videos. <laughs> and I've got to scan the entire woods. Please, please, just uh, give us a subscription. It's free. It's not even like Netflix. You get free content. Me ducking through trees. Free content. It's free. Also, if you want to see the video where I uh, went through all this stuff, it's going to be up here. If you're on a TV, thanks for the view. I know you can't interact with uh, cool stuff on the screen, but uh, thank you for the view. I'll see you. I'm going to do my skit in a bit. Fair, I don't see anything else cool. But uh, cancel yeah. whatever I just said in the last bit. I'm, it was back there. Uh, I've just found a huge amount of footprints. So I'm walking backwards to where the footprints came from. They're all going this way. I'll try and find some real distinct marks, like here. See, all along here, 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 here. There's lots of them. That wasn't actually that distinct. I'll get them, oh, right here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Bear with me. Damn, what, did these people float? Ah, oh, there we go. I'm just going to walk backwards up here a little bit. I don't want to go too far. And that path goes on forever. I can't, I can't do it. Can't go that far. I don't think that they camped there anyway. I think they may have got dropped off somewhere back there and then they had to hike over. That's usually what happens. But uh, I think my theory I have is they may have had like uh, off-road dirt bikes with them. Off-road dirt bikes. Uh, because there's like tracks coming along and they're real thick. So here's what I mean. So this is one, tra one track, this is another one. But it's like, normal dirt bike tires are quite skinny. Even the back ones are quite skinny. But these ones are real thick. Hold on, you'll see what I mean right here. So they're like kind of uh, semi on, semi off road tires. And there's a few of them. There's like two or three different bikes look like they came down. But it looks like the way the ground is disturbed, it looks like they came down here the same time as the uh, army did. Those are huge, look. There's a perfect shot of how big they actually are. Uh, they may have had like dirt bikes with them, like in front or behind. Um, that's cool. But this video has been been an experience, a little bit of a flop, because we didn't find anything cool, but hey, you can't win every battle, all right? So I'm gonna do my bit of a skate. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I've got another video recorded, but I need to re-record another bit, a, a bit of it, and I need a sunny day so to really show off. I don't know why I looked at the sky there. I need a sunny day to uh, really show off what I'm trying to show off in something. Um, it's to do with drones, so if you've any interest in that, a video coming on a drone soon. Sorry for holding the camera down like this, by the way. I don't wanna, if I hold it up like this, I will fall, like, nearly guaranteed. But there's a lot, hold on. This is the amount of footprints I found. There's an absolute truckload, literally a truckload 
they could have got dropped off by truck. Um, but anyway, if you liked the video, let me know down below by either commenting, liking, or subscribing, or all of the above. Do you want to be a number one fan? Because you can be by doing that. And let me know if you did, because we've got a nice little sub train going. And uh, yeah, there's going to be more content coming soon. I'm just, I was really busy weather. Insert excuse here. I'll do better next time. And I will, yeah, just watch, just watch this gate and enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next video, coming soon. All right, I'm finally back near the car. Right, remember the start of the video when we walked past this area where there was like a drop off point? So, all this, hold up. Remember this now, remember all this. All right, oh, that's very bright. There we go. So, there was some kind of drop off point here. Boot marks are going up. There's a cigarette. I'm going to recreate what happened, right? To a T. Factual. So this, hold on, let me get, uh, so what I'm going to, what I'm about to show you is incredibly realistic. I'm about to uh, employ some intense camouflage tactics that have only been used in the most elite war. And, you know, as real as this may seem, I want to just remind you that this is a recreation. It's not the real thing, so don't worry. Don't panic. Here it is. Wait, I just remembered something. Uh, so this is going to consist of two people, a vehicle and a cigarette, right? The first person is the driver. This is me driving, this is me being the driver. The second person is doing this. That's, that's the second person that's in the back. I don't know who else was involved. I wasn't there. So here it is. Remember that. Where am I dropping you off? Just up here anyway we'll do, son. All right, we're approaching the LZ. Slow. Easy on, easy does it. Slow it down here, this will do. All right, pulling in. And we're at this area. Thanks for the lift, son. Throw my cigarette on the ground. That's my cigarette. I'm running up here. I look back at the Jeep. See you later, yeah? I don't know if you'll see me later. Hold on. I don't know if you'll see me later. Bravo 6, going dark. Camouflage. <laughs> and then the Jeep. Jesus, he's fucking mad. Thank you, thank you. Two hour hike and still that much of an epic performance. If that doesn't earn a like and a subscription, that's my skit. I really hope you could stick with it and I hope that you enjoyed it. Also, found a permanent marker that writes on everything. I'm keeping this. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, everything, leave everything. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. And thank you for the support. Support's been immense. I love it. Love you. Take it easy. Stay safe in these weird times. And goodbye. <laughs>